boys and girls it is uh, you know very interesting uh, for me to be talking to uh, shivan and jaydeep uh, because uh, you know for one thing uh, both of them personify the spirit and philosophy of no frills academy so i mean uh, they are no frills academy as much as i am so we are very very similar so for me their selection uh, is a great relief because the pressure uh, was on me also when you know our uh, absolutely the people who uh, go by our philosophy they are not getting recommended then i feel that something going on with me also so it's a great relief and uh, well uh, you know the, their story is uh, a little longish so we will take time and we will keep having uh, a conversation uh, you know i would like to share some things uh, for the benefit of, of uh, you people as also those who follow us on the youtube channel uh, this uh, is their uh, you know life uh, as far as the journey as for the ssb is concerned is not a shortcut thing and uh, we don't believe in shortcuts it has taken time they have grown uh webho i have not uh, uh, shivans i have not been speaking to much uh shivans uh, came to me as a younger brother of webho and uh, webho and shivans both have got recommended webho yeah. is already attending training and uh, uh, they were uh, my students less they were more students of brigade shashank they came to me through brigade shashank and uh, he spoke to me about them i said i will guide them and initially when we spoke i said yaar abhi baat banne wali nahi hai thoda time lagega but both these boys are good they have got the right potential they will you know make it in due course and uh, uh, thanks to brigade shashank's involvement he was their mentor actually for uh, most of the journey and uh, he uh, kept guiding them and i had told uh, brigade shashank uh, and also both these kids that don't get uh, influenced by these coaching academies websites and all that because there a lot of trash and this focus on ssb process and all doesn't work what works is if a person is genuinely competent then things will work out and that is what uh, both of them focused upon webho and uh, shivaj webho's interview is already there is already there in the training academy uh, jaydeep's story is also pretty similar it's just that he did not have a mentor like brigade shashank he was directly in touch with me and uh, he also you know when uh, we have his interview recorded which was uh, seen by a lot of uh, aspirants along with uh, digant when uh, digant and he both were unsuccessful and we had identified that they were trying to probably taking a little bit of pressure and that was hampering their success otherwise they were competent enough to get recommended and that belief uh, has worked out it was the truth and now jaydeep is also here in front of us he is also been successful so now you know i will invite them uh we will have a jo- keep having a joint talk so first uh, you know uh, shivansh you tell us your journey right since you started from the nda time when you know webho was there you know you are following him and you are pretty over confident initially when we spoke na ha theek hai ho jayega right from those days to jab baat nahi bani and how it uh, you know went on so you tell us uh, this stuff and then we will uh, have uh, jaydeep talking chal bhai batao shivansh apne kaane use english hindi aitminan se bolo apne ghar mein jaise baat chit kar rahe hai waise baat chit kare initially i started with my nda attempts in 2018 so i could not clear the written part in the first two attempts then i got through the written portion i cleared nda twice but unfortunately once i got screened out and once conscious out so at that time i used to think that there is you know a shortcut for ssb and you can learn uh, things for ssb in a few odd days so 
I was told by my brother also, and you also told me that this is nothing that is possible in a week or so. So that thing came through, and it was after my recommend. Uh, after I got conference out, I got to know that yeah, definitely I'll have to work upon. So I started to work on the similar lines. My brother worked upon. I interacted with you. Brigadier Uncle also guided me a lot. And thereafter, I appeared for SSP after two years. So 2020 was my last attempt. I appeared and went for SSP. And 2022, now I went for SSP for CDS IOM entry. And this time in Kapoorthala, I got recommendation. So this oh. happened, sir. That is very nice. So, you have told me a shortcut. Now, first of all, tell me what is the difference between the two and the two. The first time when you have to clear your NDA, screen out. When you went through the complete process, what do you think about what is the problem? What do you think about what is the problem? Basically, I would say that in my initial attempts, I was not good at communication skill. I was not. Uh, vibrant i was not i was basically unknown about the worldly affairs the gk and all the things that were going around the globe so and moreover i was not much organized in my life i was not, I was not much serious about my goals i was not that passionate so these things ultimately developed after i followed the things that you told you know keep on participating into things that are there in colleges schools wherever you are live a, you know, organized life, uh, do things in a routine manner, follow newspaper, follow uh, magazines and keep yourself updated basically. So these things ultimately, you know, groom my, uh, groom me and my personality. So this is how it led to recommendation this time. And uh, how much role of the role tha aur Brigade Shashank ka kitna role tha? Sir, everyone was there, sir. Uh, I got a perfect match to talk to as my brother. And he was there for me always because he was there. So I was able to interact to him. I was able to share anything and everything with him. And Brigadier Uncle, of course, was like, you know, something which is uncomparable to anyone. So he guided a lot and was very helpful for me. ये शशांक से डांट पड़ती थी या मेरे से ही पड़ती थी क्योंकि अभी सर दोनों से पड़ती थी ओके बट आई प्रेज्यूम इट वाज वर्थ इट या सर इट वाज वर्थ इट सर गुड 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 हाँ भाई जयदीप फ्रेम में आइए आप सर हाँ तो जयदीप इनिशियली जब आपसे बातचीत हुई तो मैंने कुछ बताया होगा आपको then, uh, then uh, you went through, uh, you were preparing, then you went for SSB, Bad Bani nahi. Again, you also uh, took a step back and you regrouped or phir aapne matlab apna pura kaam maam apna kiya overall and uh, then you went far more confident this time. So, ye thoda samjhaiye yaar apne kahani. Churu se, pehli meeting se lekar, phir baat nahi bani. फिर हमने इंटरव्यू भी रिकॉर्ड किया हमने कहा भी कोई खास बात ऐसी है नहीं थोड़ा समझाओ ये चीजें सर द व्हेन वी फर्स्ट इंटरैक्टेड वन थिंग यू मेंशन आई नीड टू वर्क अपॉन वाज द नॉलेज पार्ट एंड आई फील दैट वाज द ओनली थिंग आई वाज कीप ऑन डूइंग एंड दिस इज द ओनली थिंग व्हिच गॉट मी रिकमेंडेड सर एंड आई फील नॉलेज पार्ट वाज नॉट जस्ट रिलेटेड टू माय कोर सब्जेक्ट बट व्हाटएवर हैपनिंग इन माय अराउंड सराउंडिंग्स एंड आल्सो दैट प्लेड अ वेरी क्रूशियल रोल सर so, sir, initially when we interacted, the first thing was knowledge part and second thing was confidence. And I guess, sir, these things are interrelated. When I was more confident on my knowledge part, so my overall confidence uh, emerged out, sir. So, initially, when uh, when I attempted or appeared for the SSB, I did not interact with you. I have already been into SSB after that, in my first attempt. After that, I interacted with you. So, that was my second, first attempt was I did not work much on one personality. In my second attempt, I interacted with you. And after that, it was my SSB at Bangalore with Digant. So in that time, sir, I felt the pressure was on me. Because I have to work better. And sir, I could have felt because the pressure was on me because I was working as a content writer, but that was a part-time job. So a strong backup was not there. In, in the back of my mind, it was there like, if I do not get recommended initially, I can earn. But there is nothing significant in my life going on. So that was a pressure sir, on me. 
so after i got confident out i decided that i have to do or i have to build, build up a strong backup plan that if ssb does not work i can do well in life so that was the priority sir and knowledge these two things i feel sir were the things i was continuously working on so i gave several government exams but i also knew that it was just for the sake of it till the i initially i wanted to do law so law entrance exam was in september so in the meantime i gave several exams just to get into the routine or not to sit idly those exams also got cleared but ultimately the confidence came when i got admitted into the law i got admitted to bhu and after that i gave after my bangalore attempt i also got confidence out from dehradun and the same reason i felt was there because no backup plan was there and knowledge was part or keep on evolving when sir i got admitted into and i gave the exam i got uh, screened out twice but i feel i literally feel sir it was blessing in disguise that i got screened out cause when i got screened out on 28th of december to afsb and on the same day my bhu results came and i have to submit my fees on uh, till within two days so if i got screened in i would not have been admitted to bhu and this recommendation would not have happened so i felt, took it as a blessing in disguise the day i got screened out and in the evening my result came i was happy because i knew in long term it is going to help me i got screened out there is a materialistic thing for the time being so these were the things sir for knowledge purpose sir i continuously read newspapers whatever i was doing for example i was doing law so i keep my focus on law there was cds also coming but my main focus was on law because i was doing law and it was in my hands so i do, did not want ki baad mein kar lunga ya fir jo meri graduation mein galtiyan thi ki subject nahi aa raha hai so i make sure that i will not repeat the mistakes the same mistakes and so one thing also happened sir uh, whatever i was doing like you said ki usme jo kar rahe ho usko mehsoos karo ki kya chal raha hai whatever is in, in your hand be aware of it so sir for example koi main agar movie bhi dekh raha tha to main sochta tha ki kya ho raha hai usme for example if there was a police movie or i am reading a book on espionage so i i used to look into things like kaise chal rahi hai cheeze so i feel these are the things which helped me in my psyche and my overall personality or confidence in interview so, so agar hum samjhe ki aapki gaadi jab hamari baat cheet hui pehle to second gear mein chal rahi thi to usse kitne gear upar aayi jaydeep aapki gaadi sir panchve gear mein continuous chal rahi hai aur shivas teri sir of course the same answer ha same answer What I feel is, sir, just as you were starting to say, it is a long process. Gaining knowledge or improving confidence or becoming confident is a long process, sir. उसमें time लग गया था. उसमें time लग गया. अच्छा, अब एक बात बताइए आप मेरी advice के लिए नहीं, मैं तो इस बात को मानता ही हूँ. अब जो हैं जितने लोग लगे हुए हैं ये websites में, coaching academies में लगे हुए हैं, मतलब psychology test practice करना. Uh, क्या कहते हैं अपनी चैलेंज एस आर टी डालते रहना इंटरव्यू के क्वेश्चन के रजिस्टर बना लेने कि यू नो वाई डू वांट टू ज्वाइन द आर्मी फिर उसके आंसर बनाया फिर पूछा फिर के, मतलब हु वाज योर फेवरेट टीचर कौन सा टीचर पसंद नहीं था तो क्यों नहीं पसंद था दोस्तों में कौन पसंद है कौन से आपके ग्रुप में है जो इतने पसंद नहीं है क्यों पसंद नहीं है इन सब चीजों में लोग लगे रहते हैं बड़ा बड़ा टाइम uh, लगाते हैं and i'm sure you would be also aware because you are in touch with aspirants fine so what do you have to tell to such aspirants ke bhai kya karne ki zarurat hai ha bhai jay dev aap batao fir shivanj bataya so i feel as a ssb mein jo abhi tak experience raha tha it was my sixth attempt ki sir ek aspect ko work karke overall confidence nahi aata if i have done work on a psych test if i practice psych and i know i can do better in psych so somewhere or other it will reveal my preparedness in interview or in gto so overall competency sir as you say is must and we can fake the overall process sir because if we are very good we can fake one aspect but i don't think we can fake the overall aspect so sir uh, as i said uh, i can relate the knowledge aspect of yours with interview as well as psych 
because you said that i have to work on my knowledge so sir i did not practice cat much to be very honest i practiced two to three slides before going to ssb because in order to get my speed or and things like to in order to get in the mindset but my knowledge part helped me because if i have to make a story on any police investing officer so i know basic the principle so i am aware of what is happening in my society what is happening around so these all things uh, inadvertently uh, reflected in my sight sir so there was nothing as such if we are aware of the society so me koi lagta sir sight ke lag se kuch practice karne ki bahut zarurat thi and interview mein bhi same sir like you said what happened in my interview sir my interviewer was asking me why whatever i answering the same question was there what is the rational thinking behind your questions or behind your actions so rational thinking is a rational thinking can be applied when you are taking any decisions when you have take to uh, taken the de- that decisions you can't rationalize that or you can't justify that thought you can just say what why i led to this, that particular situation so i would say it is better to first rationalize then take action uh, rather than just justifying it in the interview sir if uh, who was my favorite teacher why i took that subject was the same thing happened in my interview sir so my interview and my gto asked me why i took law i was very clear why i took law so he correlated it why uh, you, you have taken law so what is the relation between law and forg so i knew why i was doing that so i was very much confident in answering those question i could not have pre prepared it if i have taken law for the sake of forg sir गुड हाँ भाई शिवाज तुम्हारी क्या सलाह है इन चीजों के बारे में बच्चों के लिए आई थिंक दैट वन और रिकमेंडेशन आर पॉसिबल इन केस यू नो बॉयज आर फॉलोइंग एंड टेस्टिंग देमसेल्फ बाय प्रैक्टिसिंग मोर एंड मोर साइकोलॉजी आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम यू नो प्री प्रिपेयर्ड इंटरव्यूज बट सर इफ द मैक्सिमम रिकमेंडेशन इफ वी हैव टू सी so it is only going to come when we have got a holistic personality which includes everything when wherein we know about ourselves we know about what we are doing we have a healthy lifestyle as in you know we are aware of what things are going in and around uh what are we doing why we are doing that so a balanced approach wherein we know much about ourselves you know our life so this is going to ultimately help almost say maximum of them one or recommendations are possible sir that's way, that way only that way also so i think that following the second approach wherein you know about yourself the long one is a better one and chances are more rare but yeah definitely it's a slow process so people tend to move towards the first thing bye bye so shortcuts ke approach mein jo ye kunji generation hai shortcut le lo pata kar lo ki kya aane wala hai इंटरव्यू का ऑफिसर क्या सवाल पूछ रहा है यू नो इन सब वाली जो ये चीजें होती हैं जो स्मार्ट एक्स है इनकी कितनी वैल्यू है तो मैंने जैसे कहा ना कि एक एक दो रिकमेंडेशन हो जाते हैं इसलिए यू नो बॉयज टेंड टू शिफ्ट टुवर्ड्स दैट डायरेक्शन बट यू नो अल्टीमेटली दे फेल ओनली बीइंग होलिस्टिक एन अप्रोच इज अल्टीमेटली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू फॉर द मैक्सिमम पीपल सब सर नहीं हो पाते हैं कुछ बहुत अच्छा फेक कर लेते हैं तो वो हो जाते हैं एक आध दो अदरवाइज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल दी फेकर्स गेट आउट एक्चुअली क्या है ना शिवांश मैं आपको ऐड करूंगा क्योंकि मैं तो इस सिस्टम में रहा हुआ हूँ जो ऐसे जो बंदे कुछ रेकमेंड हो जाते हैं ना असल में वो बंदे ठीक ठाक ही होते हैं उनमें कोई ऐसा इशू नहीं होता जिनके लिए उन्हें हम ना लें छोटी मोटी कमियां पेशियां हम भी इग्नोर कर लेते हैं मुझे एक ध्यान आता है मेरे पास एक हवलदार आया था एस सी ओ कमीशन के लिए एंड उसने दो टेन्योर किए हुए थे अपने देवलाली में स्कूल ऑफ पार्टी में तो वो क्या हुआ अब उससे मैं जो था बोफर्स गन की बातचीत करने लगा और हम जैसे आपको अब आप पता होगा मैं गहराई में चले जाते हैं फिर हम बातचीत करते करते तो हम उसके एमिशन की बात करने लगे कि ये एक्सटेंडेड रेंज वाला एमिशन है ये कैसे ऐसे काम करता है अब उसने ना अपनी लगाई होगी उसने कहा कि ये देखो यार ये इन्फेंट्री वाला बंदा है इसे कहा ये पता होगा कि ये बेस ब्रीड एमिशन एमिशन किस उसकी क्या मतलब तरह से काम वाम करता है ना उसने मेरे को गोली दी उसमें ना उसने 
और उसे लगा भी नहीं कि भाई जब मैं इंस्ट्रक्टर रहा हूँ दो ट्रेनिंग और तो मैं ना सही कैसे ये एक्सपेक्ट एक्सेप्ट कर लू क्योंकि मुझे सही से पता नहीं है एक्चुअली में पता नहीं थी उसे तो फिर मैंने ओवरऑल देखा मैंने कहा देखो यार ये बंदा हवलदार मुझे गोली दे रहा है पर इसने शायद यही आइडिया लगा होगा कि यार इन्फेंट्री वालों को कहा पता होना है यार यू नो बोफर्स एम्यूशन म्यूशन के बारे में तो मैंने भी उसको रेकमेंड कर दिया था मैंने कहा ओवरऑल बंदा तो ठीक ठाक ही है छोटी मोटी चलो यार सोसाइटी इतनी गोलियां देती है थोड़ी बहुत देवी थी यू नो तो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग बच्चों हो जाती है कई बार यू नो बट अगर बंदे में दम नहीं होगा तो हम नहीं लेंगे ओवरऑल जो आपके भी जानने वाले जो इस तरह की चीजों से आप शायद हो गए जो सेलेक्ट हो गए बट इफ यू लुक बैक यू वुड फाइंड दैट नथिंग सीरियसली रॉन्ग विद पीपल दे बी ओवरऑल ओके पीपल मतलब यारों के यार होंगे दोस्ती निभाने वाले होंगे रिलायबल बंदे होंगे ऐसी चीजें उनमें होगी यू नो कोई ऐसी टेढ़ी मेढ़ी अगर क्वालिटी होगी तो नहीं लिया जाएगा वो फाइन तो दैट इज दिंग one thing ah, i would like i would like to add on sir the approach ah. you ask us to follow ah. you know it ultimately brings you to you know a right life towards a right life agar ssb nahi bhi hota hai na to itne competent ho jate hain us approach ko hum follow karte karte ki aur kuch behtar kar le jayenge sir ye confidence aa jata hai ek time ke baad actually shivas isliye to is approach se ghabrate hain log वो वॉटर कॉम्पिटिशन के लिए गया और उसका जो था जब वो शूट लेने लगा तो उसका पहले ही राउंड जो था वो टारगेट पे गिर गया अब उसके बाद उसने चेक राउंड मांगा और उसने बेल्ट ऑफ फायर मांगी वो एग्जैक्ट टारगेट एनक्यूज हो गया मिनिमल टाइम में कोई दिक्कत नहीं हुई जब मैं कंपटीशन में गया उसके बाद मेरा क्या हुआ कि राउंड जो था दो राउंड तो ब्लाइंड ही हो गए दिखे ही नहीं कि कहा मैं फटे ही नहीं अच्छा अब फटे नहीं तो दोबारा करो टाइम तो निकल रहा है उसके बाद जो था जाके वो दिखे और मेरा शूट एंगेज होने में टाइम माइम में तो फार मोर देन व्हाट वाज यू नो प्रेस्क्राइब सब कुछ वो हुआ आगे बढ़े एंड ओवरऑल वी हैड वन द कंपटीशन व्हेन आई वाज द टीम बट जेसीओ का शूट अच्छा हुआ था ऑल दैट ओवरऑल तो वो मेरे से ना जमवाल आके बात करने लगा उसने कहा कि देखो सर मैं जो था हम तुगलाकाबाद रेंज में गए थे बोला सर मैं तो घूमने जाता रहा मैं तो रेंज के एरिया भी नहीं देखा आप पूरा रेंज घूमते थे कि कहाँ पे कितने नालों की डेप्थ है क्या है पूरे जवानों के साथ उन्हें ट्रेनिंग लगाने में लगे रहते थे आप 20 दिन कहीं दाएं बाएं भी नहीं निकले वहीं बैठे रहे उनके साथ साथ तो मतलब आप देखो मेरा शूट बढ़िया हुआ मैं आई वॉज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन द डिविजन एंड आपका शूट अच्छा भी नहीं हुआ मैंने कि उससे कहा था एक जमाल ऐसा है जिंदगी के दौड़ ना छोटी दौड़ नहीं है हंड्रेड मीटर स्प्रिट नहीं है आज ये पचास मीटर की दौड़ में तेरा गोला ठीक गिर गया तेरा काम ठीक ठाक हो गया लेकिन जिस रास्ते में मैं चल रहा हूँ उस रास्ते में फेलियर कभी हो सकते हैं अगर कंपटीशन में दस बार हम गए तो तेरा एक दो बार लग सकता है मेरा तो सात आठ बार लगेगा ये इस ये वाली टाइम थी जो ऑर्ड्स वर अगेंस्ट भी तो हाँ थोड़ा अपना वो बताओ यार जयदीप तो हाउ व्हाट वाज इन योर गोइंग ऑन इन योर माइंड व्हेन थिंग्स डिड नॉट वर्क आउट एंड व्हेन यू सेड कि चलो मैं लेट मी टेक अ स्टेप बैक एंड टेक टाइम आउट एंड फोकस ऑन माय इंप्रूवमेंट व्हाट वाज योर थॉट प्रोसेस इन व्हाट ऑल यू डिड एंड हाउ डिड यू कम अपिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प द स्टूडेंट माई सेट बैक पीरियड केम आफ्टर आई गॉट कॉन्फ्रेंस आउट फ्रॉम बैंगलोर then i after two or three months i again appeared for afsb and i again got conference out from there again so at that moment i felt like i was running in a race ek ke baad ek ek ke baad ek cuz last year maine char assembly lagatar de di thi so andar se improvement ka khud se lag nahi raha tha ki uh, things are working right in, in the right direction or not but again in october my serious entry came so it was a serious entry so i was like i have to give it I have to give my hundred percent, so I appeared, and in that I got control screen up. So I felt like simultaneously the backup plan or other things were in that direction. 
so after my cds screen also i felt i need a break i literally need a break so i won't go up here for my next afsb but again my friends and my family i said like oh, there can be chances you should add on you should should come so i were like i don't want to go but all of all of them pressured me so i went anyway but again i got screened out from there and the bhu result came on the same day so the day i got screened out from bangalore oh dehradun on 28th of december that day i decided i will only go for cds i initially appeared in the i came into the ssb for army sir i respect air force but air force was not something like mere dil se andar chahta tha so army ke liye i i used to take effort i used to take initiative but air force fsb ke liye itna nahi aata tha so then i decided i won't appear for my fcat exams so again my friends or family said why are not appearing for at least appear you will have a ssb i said i will not appear because it is a like a cycle in which i am stuck i need to take a break because back to back cheez ho rahi thi so i did not appear for my fcat exam sir and i knew cds aa jayega so mere dimag mein aa gaya ki i will go for cds the time frame which i have i have several i am at two i am at times left and two or three ot attempts left so i will go for them because sufficient ssbs are there i need not to pile up ssbs with me because there if i go back to back on ssb there is much less time to introspect or to analyze what is going on wrong or what is going right so i i gathered my resources for example i need to what i need to focus on i need to focus on my law i need to focus on my cds and my ssb no fcat no afsb so this was a thing i did to get myself again stand up on so i did not take a back but i realized ki jahan mann nahi hai wahan pe main apne efforts aur apne time waste kar raha hu aur shayad uski wajah se un setbacks ki wajah se mujhe lag raha hai ki i am not a overall confident person cause inadvertently main andar se hi wo nahi de pa raha 100% so so this was the thing ki i decided i won't go for afsb i will focus on law and my cds ssb so this thing happened i was focusing on law and cds ssb i did not appear for fcat and i got recommended sir ah uh, what do you have to say shivans i uh, just i said that i went for two conference prior to ssb prior to this ssb so after i returned from both the conferences i had a talk with you so you always you know showed that belief and confidence ki are tumhara ho jayega karke and also when i talked to brigadier uncle so he you know he was much more he had much more belief in me than bhaiya wo bhaiya se zarur baat karte the but mujhe bolte the ki don't worry you don't have to worry you will get recommendation aise bolte the no nothing much बस की जस्ट यूज टू से कि हो जाएगा तुम्हारा तो एक दो दिन सर लगता था कि हाँ थोड़ा सा बुरा लगता था और फिर लेकिन उसके बाद व्हेन भैया गॉड रिकमेंडेशन वन ऑफ माय भैया बैचमेट गॉड रिकमेंडेशन तो मुझे लगता था कि हाँ देर इज नथिंग बिग आई गो एन अफेयर तो फिर दिस वे मेरे को वो तो ध्यान है जब मेरी वैभव से पहली बार ही बात हुई थी मैंने शशांक को कहा था कि शशांक बहुत इंटरेस्टेड है क्योंकि आप उसके जानने वाले हैं मैंने कहा देख यार इसका सिलेक्शन तो डेफिनेटली हो जाएगा लेकिन टाइम लगेगा अभी नहीं हो सकता है क्योंकि अभी जो है मामला फिट नहीं है इट इज गोइंग टू टेक टाइम एंड व्हाट आई फील इज दैट दैट ही हैज गॉट द राइट मोटिवेशन एंड एटीट्यूड एंड ही विल इंप्रूव इन ड्यू कोर्स सो दैट वाज देयर एंड दैट डिड वर्क आउट टू बी ट्रू एंड टाइम जो लगना था वो लगा ही सो दैट वाज व्हाट इट वाज अच्छा आप एक बात बताओ यार आप दोनों जन में क्या होता है देखिए जब आपकी ये जर्नी लंबी हो जाती है ना हमारे जैसों की तो सिंपल हो गई हम पहली बार में गए वो ठग से रेकमेंड हो गए तो कोई यू नो कॉम्प्लिकेशन आई ही नहीं मतलब बेंडी में गए पहली बार में सीधे ग्यारहवीं से होके तो कहानी खत्म हो गई जब तक पता चला कि होता क्या है तो वो तो इन हो गए थे हम तो हमारी कहानी तो बहुत फर्क हो गई अब क्या आपकी कहानी फर्क है मतलब शुरू में झटका खाया अब क्या होता है जब आप झटका खाते हो तो सलाह देने वाले बहुत आते हैं ठीक है ना अब सलाह देना और सेल्फ डाउट जो है ना इनका बड़ा तगड़ा कॉम्बिनेशन होता है अब ये जो है इन चीजों को कैसे आपने टैकल किया और इसके बारे में आप बाकी लोगों को क्या कहना चाहते हैं देर आदर एस्पायरेंट ऑल्सो वो आई टेल दम के नहीं यार तुम्हारा हो जाएगा देखो ये ये काम करना है वो फिर मुझसे सवाल पूछते सर अब नया क्या करूं अभी मेरी डेट आ गई है सर अब वो फलाना ये कह रहा था अब यू नो 
मैंने इंट्रोस्पेक्ट किया तो मुझे लगा कि ये चीज है अरे मैंने कहा तू मार छाड़ू यार इंट्रोस्पेक्ट के मुताबिक मैंने तुझे बता दिया कोई नया बंदा थोड़ी है तू वही है जो मैंने तेरे को चीजें बताई वो इंप्रूव कर ली है बट यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेशर ऑफ द सोसाइटी मतलब वो सलाह भी दे रहे हैं एंड आपके भी सेल्फ डाउट आ रहे हैं क्योंकि बात तो बनी नहीं है सो हाउ डू यू डिड यू कोप अप विद दीज थिंग्स एंड यू नो मेंटेन योर सेंस ऑफ बैलेंस एंड कंटिन्यूड योर फोकस एंड केप वर्किंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन हाँ भाई शिवान पहले तू बता तू कम बोलता है फिर जयदीप की सुनेंगे you know you have to be patient in case a lot many ssbs are going and you are not getting recommendation aur sir dusri baat ye hai ki have faith in yourself have faith in the system ki ha theek hai wo nobody can fake it and yeah in case i am working on the you know the lines that are required and that will lead to me to the recommendation so have believe in yourself have believe in whatever hard work you have done and of course yeah be prepared every time don't be casual but yes be you know normal and stay composed and calm in ssp this thing i would say just that sir ab tu mere sawal ka jawab de ab jo salah dene wale hain success to mili nahi ab tu mera jhatka bhi kha gaye ho aur wo keh rahe hain dekh maine tujhe pehle kaha tha dekh aisa kar le usko kaise aapne wo tackle kiya self doubt to aaye honge yes sir ha sir salah dene walon ka ab sun sakte hain unki baat but amal hame wahi karna chahiye jo अगर आपसे मैं टच रखता हूं तो मैं अमल उसी बात का करता था जो आप मुझे बोलते थे या ब्रिगेडियर अंकल बोलते थे बताने वाले तो सर हर जगह मिल जाते हैं कि हाँ ये कर लो ये कर लो ये कर लो वो खुद नहीं रेकमेंड हुए होते हैं लेकिन फिर भी बताते हैं वो तो मतलब हमें कहाँ से क्या लेना है हमें ये पता होना चाहिए अगर मैंने आपसे बात की है तो मुझे आपसे ये सलाह लेनी है आपको ये सारी चीजें बतानी है आपसे सारी चीजें शेयर करनी है आपकी बात माननी है so this thing should be there there should not be you know many sources from where we are taking guidance and all that bhagna nahi chahiye mat bharosa rakho ek insaan pe ki ha ho jayega so this thing i had in you and bigger uncle of course sir okay okay so you maintained uh, belief in yourself you also maintained belief in bigger shashank and me ki yaar ye theek salah de raha hai yahi karne ki zarurat hai ya hai bade walon ki nahi sunne ki zarurat hai okay that is very good How about you, Jaydeep? क्या रहा आपके क्या thoughts थे on these issues? सब मेरे thoughts को इस मामले में काफी लंबे थे। हाँ, बता बता समझा ना because these are very relevant, you know, these thoughts are very relevant because these are things which your peers are facing. Yes. हाँ. So I would start from the very beginning because I became I belong from a civilian background, so nothing falls, nothing depends, कुछ नहीं था. तो तो ये शिवांशी कौन सा फौजी background का है? जो father police वाले हैं, ये कौन सा फौजी? Yes sir. हाँ. तो सर एवरीवन वाज लाइक कि पॉज क्यों करनी है सर जब भी आई फील कि जब भी लोगों ने सलाह दी बिकॉज आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सीडीएस एंड साइमेंटेनियसली गिविंग सेवल गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम सो देयर वर पीपल हु वाज सेइंग कि एसएसबी इज वेरी अनसर्टेन इफ देयर आर मेडिकल्स आल्सो दे इट इज वेरी अनसर्टेन यू नो यू नेवर नो व्हेन यू विल गेट रिकमेंडेड सो गो फॉर सीजीएल गो फॉर एसएससी और गो फॉर एनी एग्जाम्स पे फोकस ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम और डू दिस थिंग डू दैट थिंग my seniors my elder brother my cousins they were saying this thing my brother was not but cousins were saying this thing ki go for cgl you are you are doing pretty much good in cds you have clear cds right why are you going for law when you have a strong hold in that, that particular field go for that particular field then you need not to go for law so i feel in those circumstances the initial step like i also said it prior the rational thinking why you took that particular action it comes a very vital role plays a very vital role so cause you need to focus on that thing why you took that action it if it was in the haste of time or a hasty decision you will deviate go okay i should go for this but if you have taken particular time or you have realized like i need to to take that action so in those particular those low times you will remember why i took that decision so my fund was clear cause my aim to enter into cds was not to give government exam my aim was for so i kept on saying like okay they are saying it sun lo aam yahan mila do par karna wohi jiske liye tumne socha tha starting mein ki aim for tha so stick to that there is no need of deviating cause there are times certain times when other competitive level exams clash with cds or clash with ssb so they feel like ssb mein to har baar jata hai you go ssb every uh, every two months after every two months or after every three months so why is time दूसरे एग्जाम्स को चांस दे दे, सो आई फील लाइक द इनिशियल वाई वाई आई वांट टू डू दिस 
played a very vital role in that and again sir being in company of those people who believe in you like sir you my family and there were certain friends of mine so also the company plays a very vital role sir if there was certain self doubt i used to talk with you so aap kya kehte ki zarurat hi nahi hai kyun sochta hai so sir wahan pe wo self doubt wala column khatam ho jata tha because if you have someone who believes in you so agar aapko thoda sa bhi lagta hai so you can share things with him so i feel having those people in your life is also very important sir i had you i had my family and luckily i had some of my friend also who keep on believing myself so if i had something in doubt so i discuss with you or my friends so this is how i tackled that particular low times or gyan dene wale logo ko sir okay okay very nice okay and now uh, just give a brief message uh, both of you uh, to uh, you know uh, your colleagues of no fills academy and all those who attend our uh, channel ke yaar ye ssb ki kya khel hai kya kuch karna chahiye iske liye aur kaise recommendation ho jata hai ye bataiye then we'll have one question from yogita madam also for both of you because uh, when you joined up she was not there aapki vintage jinse purani hai लगा ही नहीं कुछ अलग हुआ है मेरी पर्सनैलिटी में कुछ मैं जो वो था वो अभी भी हूँ मतलब कुछ सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज मुझे नहीं लगा एंड व्हेन आई रियलाइज इट इट वाज बिकॉज कि सर वो प्रोसेस कंटिन्यू था इट वाज अ स्लो एंड स्टडी प्रोसेस नथिंग वाज डन इन ओवरनाइट सो इट इज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस बट इफ वी हैव टू इफ वी इफ वी वांट टू बिकम अ ओवरऑल कॉम्पिटेंट पर्सन रियलाइज भी नहीं होगा कब चीजें अपने आप सही हो गई लाइक पीपल आस्क की कैसे हो गया एक रात में तो नहीं हुआ था सो इट इज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस बट यस वी हैव टू डेवलप आवर वर्क एवरीडे और एसएसबी के लिए सर यही है कि SSB is a part of life, not life, like your officer. My answer is yes, sir. Thank you. Ah, which one? I would say, sir, have faith in yourself, believe in hard work that you did, and about the performance in SSB, sir, one should keep his calm, should not think about the tasks that have been done, and should perform to the level best, being calm, sir. This is the only thing. And of course, for that you'll have to have a good. option which is there in your life apart from ssp you should not entirely rely on ssp you will have to be working on both the things that is the another plan and of course for the ssp so have a balance and stay cool in ssp sir this thing work for me so i would say this thing yeah okay hi yogita please go ahead ask your question i am sitting beside uh, i am directly asking questions uh, i would be seen uh, i heard both of their stories and i could relate uh, a lot not many things a long journey but uh, uh, i would say it's, it's good finally congratulations you <laughs> have achieved um, and i wish to ask yes motivation they talked about motivation being focused on one particular exam i got lot of points which can be helpful for other students uh, one thing that i wish to ask uh, how to keep discipline one thing is uh, motivation inspiration then your family friends your support the belief in yourself ki you ham i want to do i do not want to join air force so i am not definitely put in so many efforts or as you said uh, uh ssb is not a uh, not everything you have to keep a balance in life at the same uh, apart from that Uh, how to keep that everyday discipline uh, including ask. physical fitness this is for those who are lazy enough not uh, in, i have to tell them get up ha <laughs> uh, yogi yogita bhi nahi karti exercise regularly baki the it is bahut difficult hai she also don't do exercise ha so she needs this tip for herself also myself also that is why i asked this question ha batao is bhai about this thing sir of course we should have a routine and a disciplined life sir kabhi kabhi hota hai ki nahi man hota hai to a slight of you know ups and down or thoda sa change is okay all right and stick as much as possible as you can of course you'll have to change in case you are preparing for returns to fir wahan zyada dhyan dena hoga you will not be having much time for physical activities 
फिर एस एस भी आती है तो तुम्हें करंट अफेयर्स पे ज्यादा ध्यान देना है या फिर ग्रुप एक्टिविटीज में पार्टिसिपेट करना है तो उसको थोड़ा सा मॉडिफाई चेंज करके एडजस्ट कर एडजस्टमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड एवरी टाइम ऐसा नहीं है कि अगर सात बजे उठना है साढ़े सात हो गए तो रोने लगो कि नहीं नहीं उठ पाया करके इट्स ऑल राइट आधे घंटे लेट तो स्टेक एज मच एज पॉसिबल बट या इनकेस समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग तो ट्राई टू कवर इट अप हाँ भाई जय दी तो फॉर मी डिसिप्लिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जो आपका वो बुक थी उसमें वो टाइम मैनेजमेंट का था क्वार्टर वन क्वार्टर टू क्वार्टर थ्री क्वार्टर फोर तो दैट वॉज समथिंग वेरी हेल्पफुल और उसके लिए सर इट देर वॉज नॉट नथिंग एनी न्यू की मुझे उसके लिए बस एक दिन में प्रिपेयर करना है दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वार्टर फोर क्वार्टर थ्योरी हेल्प टू बिकम ओवरऑल टाइम एफिशियंट टाइम मैनेजमेंट थिंग तो देर वॉज नथिंग प्रॉब्लम की कल एकदम कुछ आ गया है एंड आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर इट इफ आई न्यू आई हैव एस एस बी आफ्टर टू मंथ I have put it in quadrant two, or quadrant three. So that helped me. And uh, talking about discipline, sir. So, as for me, like you all said, me, I was not rigid. Not that I had to do it. But I knew that I had to run in a day, in a week, in a few kilometers. I had to go for it. And for running, initially I, I was afraid of running. But later, I used to take it as an escape zone. That okay, in a day, whatever the stress was, I will go and sweat it out. It will be. A, it will. It was my escape zone from all the tiring thing or the or the stress was going on in my personal life. So I used to take exercises as my escape zone or my relief zone. So that approach uh, helped me to get exercise. Uh, I wanted to do not as a burden. The yar exercise we can do a task. It was not a task. It was my pleasure. So as a whole, yes, sir. करेक्ट करेक्ट यू हैव टू एंजॉय योर लाइफ डेली हैप्पीनेस हैज टू बी देयर इन द डेली रूटीन इट विल नॉट बी लाइंग एट द एंड ऑफ सम रोड नहीं तो आप जो है फ्रस्ट्रेटेड हो गए आपको जिंदगी में मजा नहीं आएगा बात नहीं समझती यू आर वेरी राइट आप तो वेरी नाइस योगिता यू आर वेरी वेरी रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चंस नाउ यू आर ओपन टू क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज गो एंड आस्क योर क्वेश्चंस